But this alcohol you're consuming, you think you're just consuming it, but it is consuming you. It's taking away your to life. Honest, your brain is frizzled. Troubles, yeah, but that's what I'm saying, where I'm your drunk, troubles come from. I'm drunk, yeah. no, but it's it's not, save you from but that's man. nihilistic. That's like as in I'm just losing myself. Find yourself. Yeah. What's the, you is. when you was in prison, yeah. you should have converted to Islam. That's a, that would have saved you from all of these problems. Yeah, you could have I understand UK is, is difficult and the Muslims aren't good representatives. Yeah, he has an eighteen year stretch right now. Yeah. Muslim. Mm. Speak to him, mm. and he gives me the same chat every single it's day. What's stopping you? You every know, you know, you should be as Muslim. Christianity, you say, doesn't make sense to you. you know what? It's a, it's, it's a commitment. And it I, is. I think I'm, a, I'm just like a bit too immature, right? Habba, now. habba. They maybe, say maybe when I like go up a little bit. Yeah. What if you die tomorrow? Like, I could. I could walk out of my house and get hit. But you. Like, you already been stabbed so many times. How do you know you're gonna live next day? And what, what happened there anyway? What happened there with the? What? How did you get in a situation like that? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, you're alive. It's just if I see one of my mates uh. getting into, uh. I've got to be there for him. Yeah. And who's there for you? Like you my said, brothers. Islam. And who's your brothers? If you accept Islam, you understand you'll have the biggest family ever. I understand you're not yeah, the representative, you know. What, 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 what stopped you from accepting? Yeah. The Muslim brothers, they used to Back beat you. the fuck out of me. <laughs> they used to mash me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I wasn't. Yeah. Just because yeah. if I looked at one of their brothers. Mm -hmm. But you realize that makes more sense, the Islamic they, narration. They so what stopped you from being part of the Ummah, the community? Because if you turned into a Muslim, you would be my brother right now and I would defend you as well. I would defend you, man, like hell. There's some things which are hard, like the alcohol. My dad, no. he's out of here. I ain't got no one to go to mm. places like Muslim. Of course you do. I've got, yeah, I've got sisters. Both of my brothers are in jail right now. Yeah. I've got sisters and that's it, yeah? They, obviously, I know in your religion, mm. you, uh, the women go to one side and mm. then the men go to the other mm. side. I, I wouldn't... Things like, take time though, and just, you need I to explain it no to them. To to, oh, no, no, no. Don't worry, man. We're gonna, we're gonna, mates, what good is it? But they, do, they, they, they stopped going mosque as soon as they left school. Mm -hmm. Because they've all got like, jobs and stuff mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. No, that, that, that doesn't actually stop them going, from, uh, going to the mosque. Yeah, I know, but they've chosen that. So you have this intention. You have this intention. You have this intention. If you can walk away with something, at least have this intention. When you are ready, you really think about Islam. Even for the native of this country, Islam is what they desire. It stops them from this nihilism. Of course, we all got barriers. I've got barriers, you got barriers, whether it be a girls, or alcohol, whatever. al kathur The world on all of this mutual gathering, it diverts you. Hatta zurtum al maqabir. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It's habba habba, step by step. Allah says in the Quran, al kathur The world it diverts you. From what? From the, the reality of there being a, a hereafter, from the reality that you have a Lord, that the hellfire is real, you know, and we, you and I, we don't want to be in a state of loss. By the token of time or the passage of time, verily mankind is in a state of loss, except for those who believe. Yeah, you might believe and you might sin, at least you go into paradise and you know that. But if you don't believe, and you don't make that declaration, then you and I can leave this point. Every single soul it shall taste death. The father, the mother, the child, the young, the old, it does not discriminate from everyone. We have not made for any man before you that he should see eternity. The angel Gabriel came to the Prophet Muhammad, he said, Ya Muhammad, Ishma shitta. Oh Muhammad, live as long as you want. For in the kamayat, for surely you shall die. And love whomsoever you wish, for surely you shall be departed from them. So if you leave here, if you leave here, who's to say you and I won't die? You know what it is, boss? I understand, yeah? There is someone up there. I don't know who it is. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I wonder why he takes the good people mm -hmm. and leaves. Mm. Why he leaves? Because God has given if, if him a chance. People. 
This dun, Allah He says, yeah, biyadihi al -mulk, wahu ala kulli We say glorified is Allah, blessed is He in so blessed is Allah um, in whose hand is the dominion of the heavens and earth, who created life and death that He may test you to see who the. I know, I know Muslims. Yeah. yeah. Hear, hear the to verse. Mosque three times a day yeah. to pray. Yeah, it should be five. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yeah, they go to a mosque yeah, three times yeah, a day. They, yeah, work, they work a full-time yeah. job. They have kids. Mm. They make sure this they dunya go to is mosque. not for us. And this earth is not for I've us. I've seen them get taken. Yeah. yeah. This, the, Allah but takes them to certain, Himself. Certain people are out here doing horrible stuff. It doesn't matter. This dunya is a prison for the believer. This life of the, the life of this world is nothing but material deception. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he says to you and I. Be in this world as if you were a stranger or Abd al Sabil or someone who is passing by. Why? Because this dunya is not something which is permanent. And that's why Allah He takes the good unto Himself. There's no doubt. And there's no place for you know, there's no place better for the mu'min or the believer than Jannah. Inna lil muttaqina mafaza. Verily for those who are believers of God is a place of Jannah. And this is why in Islam we have an answer, a solution for the problems of this dunya. From the problems of a, of a young youth getting caught up on all of this. You want brotherhood, you want fulfillment, you want all of this. You know the answer. There's nothing at this point I feel I could tell you that you don't already know in your heart of hearts. So you have to ask yourself. Certain times, yeah. Uh, the day I got stabbed, I stabbed 15 times. Yeah. One, in one go, yeah. 15 times. 15 times. I looked up. I just, I just, I just prayed. I prayed my heart. I was quiet. Mm. I was doing all sorts. I was just hoping. No, 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 no. I shut my eyes. Let's go. And I woke up in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. And I spoke. I, I spoke to the guy. He said, you're very lucky. If you didn't move your hand a certain way and mm. hold that, mm. you would have been, you would have been gone. Mm. They punctured my lung. Mm. I held it, mm. and luckily, mm. I held it good enough mm. so to the stop the bleeding. To come, mm. I was lucky. Everyone, this life, this life is test. For a certainty, we should test you with some of fear, hunger, loss of life, wealth yeah. and fruits. You know, all of these are tests. But the thing is how you answer. You know, all you who believe, answer Allah. All you who believe, you said you believe. Answer God Almighty and His Messenger when He calls you to that which gives you life. You're alive. You did not die. Ask yourself why you're alive. Is it just by mere coincidence? Anyway, look, let's uh, bring it to a close. I'm going to take your number and we're going to do this properly, yeah? But even if I'd never see you again, you keep keep this intention that you're going to keep it. You know in your mind, there's nothing I can convince you. I feel like that. If you're here, but you know what it is, bro, listen. Yeah? You're, gonna, you're definitely going to see me. Love, bro. You know, let me tell you something. You know when you're in that, in that state where you got stabbed, yeah? You were praying and all that. That's your uh, innate disposition. Naturally, yeah? You have that intention of seeking for some help. Do you understand? So that's yeah. what I'm talking about. This is what we believe in. Yeah, it's a natural disposition. Listen, I'm gonna give you my Saudi number. Oh, this is your number. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Number. Yeah, nice. Your name is K, yeah. 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 But what I'll say, man, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you call me on Monday morning, I'm. I'm gonna You're done, yeah. Somebody. You don't Tomorrow, um, <laughs> step by step, case step no, by step. Always stay away from trouble, yeah, and always pray. Look, what, what, you know what you can do tonight yeah, when you go home and say, Look, Almighty. Oh, going home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bless you, bless you, K. Yeah. Yeah. Look, this is my number. What is? We're gonna link up. We're gonna spend some time together. Yeah. It takes time. Things don't happen immediately. It takes time. He was a Muslim. We yeah. need you. <laughs> we need you, yeah. So brothers is, need each other. Yeah. So many brothers have converted. Yeah, we love. Okay, my man. Take care, yeah. Just basically. We'll call you. Yeah? Have a, do you want some information? Brother.